So Travis Kelsey, you know, Kansas City Chiefs tight end, you know, he's, you know, dating Taylor Swift. And, you know, of course, that made headlines. People care about that. Me personally, I don't care about their relationship. It is what it is. But the only reason I talked about it originally is because the divestors was really upset uh, with Travis uh, here. Um, they, they say that he really didn't love black women. I didn't think it was his job to. I, I thought he was just dating individual black women, not the whole black uh, female population. But that's okay. So, Taylor Nicole his ex-girlfriend that he prided himself on not spending money on. Now, when black men talk about they're not trying to spend no money on a sister, he's called broken, dusty, and trifling, and everything else. But when Travis did it, nobody called him, all the divestors, didn't call him broke, dusty, trifling, or anything, right? He prided himself on not giving her a thing. But Kayla put out a video as of recent, and we haven't seen or heard from Kayla at all until now and let's go ahead on and listen to Kayla and what she has to say in her message to black women hey guys Kayla here it's always been really important for me to use my platform not to create division but to elevate and unite women black women specifically so I prepared a letter and would like to share it with you today dear black girl they may call you a traitor for falling in love. I got to stop right there. Kayla, why did they call you a traitor for falling in love? Don't put it by black women. There are black women every day that falls in love. But what did, why is specifically you were called a traitor? Why are black men called traitors too, Kayla? It's not just you. You see, Let's call it what it is, Kayla. There are black men who like your look. And when they seen you with Travis, they didn't really like that. No different than when a black man that has a particular look, the women are attracted to him, he's successful, and he gets with a white woman. He's called a traitor. He's called a sellout. All, all these black men, that's all they do is go get them a white woman when they get on, right? So you definitely would not be the only one. So if so. Kayla, you should just went on ahead and said it. You should have said that you were called a traitor because you was with Travis. You understand? Trust me, it happens on both sides, but particularly more to black men uh, than women. But let's continue. You'll hope the ones closest will protect you, but you will quickly find out that people don't protect what they don't value. They'll say you're too much, too provocative, too boisterous, too outspoken, and in the same breath tell you that you're not enough not successful enough, not wholesome enough, maybe not even intelligent enough. I think Kayla, you're projecting sister. This is not, this is not the, the life of all black women you, you're talking to. No, 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 no. You're projecting. Okay. Now you mentioned about being wholesome enough. Now let's watch this clip real quick of Kayla here. And remember, Travis had to deal with Kayla and part of this attitude of hers, but let's play this. Foolish that we have to keep having this same tired conversation about the qualities that make a woman of substance. This man said that you need to be able to cook and know when to be quiet. Cause that's what his mama did. Like boy, go take your mama then. They'll say, oh. Uh. Okay, so you've seen that attitude that she has, right? And remember that we have discussed here before, it's not about the look of a person, it's what's actually inside. Yes, it may sound cliche when they say the inside that counts, it do. Because when a man hears that kind of nasty attitude, because it is a nasty attitude, what's wrong with you cooking? You can't go to the restaurant every day. And if you do go to the restaurant every day, you're going to be broke. It don't matter if you got millions of dollars. The fact is, it is unhealthy to eat in the restaurant every day. People that are, are healthy, they cook at home, or people that got millions of dollars, they have their private chefs cook at home where they can control how much salt go in the food, how much sugar go in the food. They're using you know, organic ingredients or whatever the case may be. Not just throwing whatever you want or cooking with certain oils. You can't demand it. Well, you know, are you cooking with avocado oil? Are you cooking with grapeseed oil or are you are you using what kind of oil are you using you know you in a restaurant you you eat whatever they serve you you understand so you don't want to make coffee at home you always want to be at starbucks 
You can make cold brew at home. You can do everything at home. Go to Whole Foods, get some get some good cold brew, get you some good, you know, whatever, what you want to put in it, and you're good. If you want ice, type iced coffee, whatever the case may be, do it at home. But but little ladies like that, it was that kind of attitude, no, they want to just run your pockets. And, 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 and like I say, Travis, they want to spend nothing on you. Well, there you go. You deserve the backlash and embarrassment because of your blackness, you should have known better. No, Kayla, what you was really saying is that you got backlash for your relationship and you didn't, and you was saying why, and people was telling you, you should have known better because whether you like it or not, black people in America, and even I can say black South Africans too, that could be watching. We have a dark history with Europeans. This dark history has not been solved, even in the modern times. Black Americans are still living less than, even in 2023. We aren't treated the same in this country, still. Even black South Africans who actually got their country back, but they still haven't got the land back, they haven't got a lot of the economy back. So if a black American, male or female, dates, marries a white American, even if that white American person is not a racist person at all, the issue is going to run into one, the history for black Americans, right? The history and how a lot of people, black people going to feel about that. They're going to call you traitor, sell out. They, they're going to look at you funny. Listen, if, tra if, 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 if Kayla would have got with an Arab guy, an Asian guy, a Hispanic guy, she wouldn't have got the backlash like that. Is it because we don't have the history in America with those said groups like we have with um, white Americans? It just let's call it what it is. You look at it, even if that person, the white American person that you're dating or married to, like I said, they cannot be, they don't have to be no kind of racist. The issue is somebody in their family is. That's usually what happens. Or somebody within their community is. And they don't want to be pushed out of the white community. Now, what I mean by that standing up for racism is a offense in their community. Anti-black racism, unfortunately is part of the culture. Now, I'm, I'm going to a different route today because I normally do this on my other content, but I got to go there because it's there. And if that person you with stands up against racism, white supremacy and condemn it and call it out and call them out. They're going to be held to pay on that white person. It's going to be held to pay and they will be excommunicated from the white community. We've seen it happen over the years, even to the point that they can even be attacked or lose a life for standing up against anti-black racism, dealing with you, whether there's a white woman or white man, it's a lot that comes on them, not just us being calling each other names on them. Then you have children with the, the people. These children, a lot of times are confused in this world. One instance, they'll say they're biracial, but in reality, white America will never accept that kid. I just covered a story about a little girl named Grace Clay. Her mom is white. Her dad is black. The white kids was calling her all kind of racial slurs that they would call me. Okay. This child, you can clearly see this child is, is ambiguous clearly, but yet they called that girl all those names. See, that's the things that y'all are not thinking about the children in this country. It's going to, it could be an issue or a problem. But once again, if you got with somebody of, of not, they may not be black, but they could be like I say Arab, Asian, Hispanic, whatever you're not going. And I'm saying, I'm not saying they're going to deal with some racial issues either with them other groups, not saying that, but uh, what I'm saying is with that particular group and the history of what happened to us in this country and, and it's never been solved. It's not like it happened a long time ago. We solved it. It's all over and done with the systems are, are broken down that, that kept us, you know, less than and X, X Y, Z. So, I know some of these sisters on this new thing about, oh, I'm going to date me a white man. Do you date whoever you want to date? I'm not going to stop you, but don't look at the 
black men say, why you didn't protect me when this happened to me? Or why didn't you do this? Or why the community is coming at me? That's why. Like we got, we can't play dumb uh, with certain things. I would be not right if I don't tell you what it is. It, it, it is what it is. And you say, well, more black men do it. Yes. And they have problems too. And do you know you got some of them who are straight up racist and would date a black man or date a black woman? That's happened too. You're in a relationship with them, they get mad, they use the N-word to you. Or the N-word to your children. It's happened. I interviewed a young lady years ago that her mom had called her the N-word because she was supporting Colin Kaepernick. And that was her child. And she called her that. That's the things that y'all not thinking about when y'all talking about, Ooh, I'm going to do something new. Like I said, I don't do you. Like I said, at the end of the day, you're grown, do what you do. I'm not there to tell you nothing. Only thing I'm saying is I'm just being the voice of reason in the reality of the country that we're living in here in America. Same thing in South Africa. If a black person get with one of the boars, a lot of people going to be looking sideways at them too. Why? Because of the history. They'll even try to tie your value to your net worth, but black girl, Please remember your value lies elsewhere. Your value is deep within your heart, the way you love, the way you give. Your value is in your resilience, your willingness to forgive. The way you protect what means most to you, even if it hurts you along the way. And the way you stand up for what means most to you, even though they may not ever do the same. But black girl, Respectfully, let me stop you there because you don't have to participate in this tumultuous, often one-sided journey. Preserve your heart. Even when they try to quantify your character and test your boundaries, you do not have to engage. Now, you know you're talking about the black community, Kayla. Stop just saying they. Just say the black community because white people aren't doing that to you. You know that. You know, good way of somebody criticized your relationship. It was the, the black community, right? because they criticize even black men constantly. Look at Bronny James. That young man went to a prom with a white teenager at his school. And oh my God, the way they acted about that young boy. You know what I'm saying? So, so please. Do not have to respond because there is power in your silence. Well, why didn't you stay silent, uh, Kayla? Why didn't you stay silent? See, all this time, nobody heard from you. But now Travis is with uh, Taylor. And all of a sudden, now you're making this video that you're literally projecting. You can use that same power to silence the noise and the self-doubt. Silence the voices within that want you to give in to this demoralizing and antiquated narrative. Tap into that power. Because I know, girl, the rage of the world is loud. But black girl, your God is louder and your tribe is stronger. Your blood runs deeper and is filled with strength. And when you finally find the strength to speak your truth, it is your voice that will help heal. Because black girl, let me tell you, you're not in this alone. And even though sometimes I too ask, why me? Okay, well, let, let me say this, uh, 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 Kayla, uh, uh, those of you, you know, some, some, uh, some, you know, sisters believe that some brothers are their enemy. And they, and some of them believe that the white man dating white men is going to replace the, the black man. Let me tell you something that would never happen because majority of white men are with white women. Majority of black men are with black women globally. The majority of Asian men are with their women, Hispanic are with their women, uh, Arab, you know, with their women. That's just normally how it is. So you have a minority of all groups that say, Hey, they date, marry, you know, whoever they want to date, marry, that's fine. Right. But when you are also coming to even these other groups, you're dealing with cultures and all that. Look at Jeezy and, and Jenny Mai. One of the issues they say that came out was the cultures, right? Was saying that, Hey, he really didn't like the way the culture was. And, and, and that's also situations you got to talk about is different cultures. And, and can you deal with the blending of those cultures, you know, with you? So it's a whole lot that goes on with that. But, but Kayla, I don't really think you should have made this video, Kayla, because you, anyone knows that you are projecting, you're projecting. Um, I think the best thing that you can do, um, 
is to just move on with your life. Do, do you do your thing? And that's the end of it. You know, it's like, I guess it's hurt your feelings. I, I'm feeling that it did, you know, but you thought that the man was, wasn't going to get with somebody else. Like, come on now. And I guess maybe because the media making a big deal of it because it's Taylor Swift. Well, I mean, yeah, they're going to make a big deal of it because it's Taylor Swift. I mean, she's like a mega pop star. I mean, and Kayla, you're Kayla. I mean, nothing, I'm not saying nothing bad about you being Kayla, but you're just not in the level of worldwide attention. You just don't have that like Taylor Swift have. And that's why I guess they're going to make more of a big deal out of it. Right. But, you know, let me know what y'all think about Kayla here. So Kayla is projecting um, a lot and trying to say dear black girl, but no, th this is not the experience of most black girls. Remember she said they call you traitor when you fall in love. No, most black women that fall in love are not called traitor.